Well, hello, amazing artists. It's Kelly Folsom here. So excited to be here with all of you today. And did you know that you are amazing? Did you know that what you do, artist, is amazing? Did you know that the work that you create is awesome and is changing the world? Not only does it change you as you change and grow with it, Every single painting that you do is making a powerful contribution to the world. I just wanted you to know that because if you didn't know that, you need to know that and start claiming that and walking in that every single day. Okay, so today we have an amazing topic and question that came in. How do I officially transition from hobbyist to professional artist? A well-meaning friend recently congratulated me on my amazing hobby. <laughs> Although I know she meant well, I hate the H word. I love that. Uh, I know I am an early career artist, but I am trying to show up as a professional and I am constantly working my butt off to produce the highest quality art I can. How can I respond as nicely as possible to the two sets of people who tend to use the H word? Uh, people who knew me before I was an artist and good old boy professional artist. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Uh, so I'm laughing because it's so true. All right. Who seem to think you have to have an art degree and or have been painting for 30 years to have paid your dues and earned that title. Uh, should I assume that my art isn't good enough yet and that the title will follow when I am or are there attributes of a professional artist that I can do to develop and display now to shake the hobbyist label? That's the most important piece is that you are in, integri in integrity with that. Your daily actions are lining up with the image that you are creating for yourself first internally because if we don't embody it internally and we don't believe in it internally, then the outside world will never respond um, as well, right? But the most important piece is that internal piece because we really are not in control of how others perceive us, right? And also others' judgments of us. For example, if we don't have an art degree, right? Um, and and they, they, maybe somebody out there allows that in their perception to knock us down a notch. No matter what our quote unquote credentials are, um, it really, what matters most is how we feel on the inside, you know? And so if there's any piece there for you, for any of us as artists on the inside that feels like, um, like we're not as good as, right? We're not as qualified. We're not as credible, you know, as a as a, another professional artist. I think that's really the first thing to clear up within yourself. So first and foremost is just clearing up anything because when people say things like that, um, uh, it can really bring up uh, some internal, or not bring up, but like shine a light, really just kind of shine a light on any insecurities that we may still have uh, within ourselves that we need to clean up for ourselves, you know? So one thing I'll say about whether it's family, friends, um, community members, um, people that did know us before we were artists, right? Um, for those people, they have a totally different version of you in their minds. <laughs> so sometimes these people from the past, they don't quite understand where you're going with this yet. You know, um, they just haven't had enough time to acclimate and some of them may never acclimate to this new career you have built for yourself, right? This new identity, this new path and journey that you are on that you yourself are taking very seriously. Um, and so sometimes it can just take time for those people from the past to kind of get it, right? Um, to, but they may never get it and that's okay. But you know, I know for myself with, with friends and family, I've had to really, I don't wanna say set boundaries, but really teach people um, who I am, teach pe and therefore teach people how to treat me. So sometimes to a certain degree, it is educating them, right? And really understanding that they just, 
they don't having compassion enough to understand they don't understand so if somebody were to say to me oh my gosh i'm so i'm so glad that you know you have found a hobby that you really love you know but basically i would just respond with you know yes you know this is um this is my second career um, you know, I'm, I'm starting my, my new, you know, art career. I've, I've wanted to do this my whole life and, and now I'm able to do it and, um, I'm really going for it and I've got some big goals, you know? Um, so it's really a matter of, you know, your language, the words that you're using, and in a sense, kind of being vulnerable. I mean, it is being vulnerable vulnerable whenever you share with people like I'm actually really serious about this I'm getting high quality education um, I am working this like I'm working a full-time job you know I'm showing up every day I'm putting in the hours um, I'm exhibiting you know and then of course like you say making sure that your actions are in alignment with the with the uh, goal that you're pursuing you know the professional art goal that you're pursuing um, so you make sure I've got a professional uh, website and professional social media um, set up, right? Um, I'm not I'm not just posting on my personal page, right? Um, I'm not mixing personal life posts, for example, with my art posts, right? So I'm actively marketing myself as a professional artist. Um, my language is in alignment with that. I'm not speaking from a passive place or even speak, even if you're learning, even if you're studying and educating yourself, not speaking like a student right not speaking like a like a hobby artist would or like a, even a student artist would in a sense we're all lifelong students right we are always studying i still study and take classes you know with artists who i really admire um, and sometimes it's just for me to like get out of my own box and to get inspired, you know, by somebody else. But I never, you'll never hear me speaking like a student. And sometimes this in and of itself takes some time, you know, to transition because even after I graduated art college, I was still presenting myself as a student and I was really still speaking student words, you know, just in my in my air in my sense of confidence you know and it took it took quite a while for me had nothing to do with anything outside of me it took quite a while for me to really believe that i was a real professional confident woman artist you know um and to really own that fully and own who i was fully um and not um, not look at another artist just because they had 30 more years experience than me as being, you know, somehow more qualified or more credible, right? So that change and that transition has to happen internally first within yourself, you know? I know for me, I thought, well, if I stack up, if I stack up enough of these awards, enough of these shows, that will make me feel more credible. That will make me feel more professional and more confident. And in it, I will say it can help, right? Like I'm not gonna say that it doesn't help, right? Because you're taking professional actions. You're acting like a professional. You're showing up like a professional. So in that way, you know, those kinds of actions, it's not really the results that matter so much. It's not really getting into the show so much that matters or getting into the gallery so much that matters or getting the award so much that matters as it is that you are taking the daily actions showing up in your your life as a professional artist how does a professional artist act what do they do you know what do they do day to day how do they treat their business right because professional artists take seriously their art business how do they treat their marketing you know they're not professional professional artists who are really serious about how their work is, the longevity of their work, the legacy of their work, um, how the quality of their work, how it's perceived, they don't sit around saying, oh, I wish I could just paint. 
all the time, you know? We all know as professional artists that there's a business side to it. And so we accept that, you know, fully. We accept it. You know, we might not like everything that we have to do. Just same thing with painting. We don't love everything about creating our art, right? <laughs> There's always hard parts to it. Thank you all so much for being here. I hope that this has helped you in some way. Uh, just as a side note, just make sure that your actions and your internal um, emotions are lining up with the identity that you are trying to achieve, with the goals that you are trying to achieve. All of that will educate uh, the people around you. For those of you who aren't aware, Art Life School is open for enrollment right now. Yes, 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 it is. Um, and I help artists um, from all levels, from beginners to advanced artists. Um, I help artists uh, in learning how to paint if they're a beginner, um, uh, learning how to find their artistic voice and their artistic ident their own personal artistic identity if they're at the intermediate level, and for advanced artists really stepping more fully into that professional level, building your art business um, and you know, business courses and things like that as well. Get whatever you need from me out of the program um, so that you can ascend to that next level in your art life. You can go to Art Life with Kelly, K-E-L-L-I dot com and get registered. Okay, my friends, uh, wishing you all happy creating and I'll see you next week. Bye.